100 pounds to 100,000 pound challenge month 11 update hi i'm jamie and for those of you that don't know me i run a social media channel called jamie's freedom journey where i'm taking 100 pounds and turning it into 100,000 pounds by selling things on amazon using their fba program the purpose of Jamie's Freedom Journey is to document how it is possible to get to financial freedom. For those of you that are interested, follow for more. Before we jump into month 11, let's just recap. We would started off at month zero with £100. We'd invested that into Amazon. We'd bought things. We'd then sent them to Amazon. Amazon were then going to sell them on our behalf. We were going to sell them for more money. After paying Amazon their fees, we were left with the total profit. Total profit was enough. We carried on, we've carried on every single month. The aim is to hit at least 30% and to try and sell everything in a month. Now, both of those are very difficult and oftentimes I don't manage to sell everything in a month. However, I am on target so far. So last month, the pot was at £1,818.80. That meant that we were at least one month ahead of where we needed to be on the program. This month, Gross revenue, that is the amount of money that other people have paid Amazon for the things that I'm selling, came to £1,352.50 and that left me with a net profit of £543. So that is after paying for the items I've bought, the shipping to Amazon, the shipping by Amazon, Amazon's marketing fees, any software that I'm using and the Amazon fees themselves. I think it's worth just stopping for a moment and reflecting on that. Because £543 for a whole month of work probably doesn't seem like a very good reward. But bearing in mind that I've been doing this in my spare time, in the evenings, weekends, and a little bit of holiday. So I really haven't spent a huge amount of time, and I'm now at the point of making £543 of net profit. What I think is even more impressive are the following figures, which is that my ROI has averaged this month at 226%, which is massive. That means that for every pound I've spent, I've made £2.26 profit. Essentially, I pay £1 and I'll get £3.26 back, my original pound plus the £2.26. A lot of the books that I've been buying haven't yet sold. They're still in Amazon. They're still there for people to buy. And those that have sold, obviously have sold for a significant uplift. Now, if you compare this to most of the products, whether it's wholesale, online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, people might aim for 30, maybe even 40% ROI. And that is absolute top line. With books, it is a hugely different game. And also my margin is at 40%, 40%. Again, 15% is the target for most wholesalers on Amazon. They're looking for 15% margin, profit margin being the amount of profit against how much the whole thing sold for. Again, really strong margin. I'm really, really happy with how, how those numbers are looking. The total pot now stands at £2,361.80, which, starting off with £100, is absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really happy, and I am really looking forward to next month. January is going to be an interesting month because obviously it's quieter for commerce in general and particularly for e-commerce. I have no idea how it's going to impact on books as this is my first January. This will be my 12th month and it will be the whole first year complete. I really want to talk a little bit about the £2,361 pot of money because I want to talk about it in perspective, depending on which end of the spectrum you start with. If you start with the fact that I only had £100 of pot to start with and I'm now at £2,361, £2,361 is enough for most people to go on a pretty decent holiday. It's also enough that I could easily pay for Christmas and probably all the birthdays that I have to pay for for the year. It's probably enough to buy a very cheap second-hand car or maybe to put towards a better second-hand car. It's not really enough to pay for a house, but it's certainly enough to perhaps pay the legal costs if you're buying a house. At the moment, it is a significant amount of money and I'm really, really happy. And yes, it's taken me 11 months to get there. And yes, it would have been much easier over that 11 months to perhaps have just worked a couple of extra shifts or done a side job and just cashed all the money. You could absolutely do that, but the skills that I'm learning through this is what's important. When you compare it to the other end of the spectrum though, the £100,000 spectrum, and you think, oh, you're almost halfway through by time, but you're nowhere near halfway through by cash. That's a really important factor to bear in mind is the time frame and the compounding over time. Every single month, I should be making more money because I've got a bigger pot. And so every single month, it gets easier to get towards that £100,000 mark. This month I made 543 pounds in profit. The first month I only made 30. 
if you think about that over the next 12, 13, 14, 15 months, the same process will happen. And obviously the last month of this challenge should be the month where I make the most profit. For those of you that are also following me on the journey to create a whole new Amazon account for somebody else and help them to grow their sales as quickly as possible, then follow for more.